Hey guys, uh, first day, well, it's a couple days back since uh, we started here at Massachusetts Maritime, semester two, and uh, today's video is going to be on the cost of Mass Maritime, so uh, I didn't want to make this video about, it was like the grand welcome back, I should probably say what happened so far, so a lot of things happened. Uh, Got two new great roommates, uh, Gates and Fabiano. Really amazing people. Maybe in a later video I'll show you guys. I think they've been in videos before, so if you're a well-known viewer, you can find them somewhere in here. Anyway, uh, today's video, like I said, is about cost. And I've realized after these last few days here at Mass Maritime that this school is expensive. <laughs> I don't know why, I always knew it was expensive, but after C term, first semester, and now, it is, I've probably spent at least $10,000 of my own money. Maybe, maybe a little less than that, I don't know, it's just, I spent a lot of money. And, uh, like all, my, what's it called, all my financial aid is like almost dry right now, how much money I've spent. Um, thank God for financial aid, if not, I would not be here. But anyway, like I said, today's video is on cost and uh, what do you do when you first come here. So uh, first things first, a lot of kids for some reason don't apply for FAFSA. I don't know why, but there's sometimes I'll talk to a kid and say, uh, "How is there, what do they do for FAFSA? And they said they didn't apply because they thought their parents made too much money or some circumstance where they just didn't think it was worth it. I'll tell you right now, FAFSA is the only reason I'm here. That whole program... It was paying for me and scholarships and a whole shebang, grants, all that. Sorry, my glasses are wet, I know, because I just took a shower and, ah, it's a long story. It was clean glasses. Anyway, this school is really expensive, and you need, and you just, you just need money. And any way you can get it is good, uh, especially if you're now a state kid like me. Uh, I know for tuition here, it's probably a lot cheaper for the for most people, if you live in Massachusetts, this is one of the cheaper colleges. But for out-of-state kids like me, it's ridiculous expensive. I sp it's like forty-four, fifty thousand dollars just for tuition, I believe. Might be in the sixty. I forgot the exact number because I know a grant I had was forty-four thousand, which covered the majority of the tuition. Then I had a few thousand left over to pay for uh, the rest. That's not counting the sea bag when you first come here. Classes, because uh, depending on what class you have, like for example math, you have to pay a hundred dollar, a hundred something dollars for uh, these online classes for Pearson, the math lab, just to do homework. Uh, chemistry is just like that too. You pay a hundred dollars, and you got all the programs you got to download. Uh, uniforms are rid ridiculously expensive. Uh, all I'm saying is this school has a huge cost, and I know that's such a weird downer, kind of. Especially since I just had, like, what, 20 videos about how great this school is, about, oh, oh C-Term and all that. But C-Term's at least $3,000 out of your pocket. Not counting tuition. Not counting room and dorm, the whole nine yards. It is it's ridiculously expensive, and... My tips for you guys is apply for scholarships. I don't care how much. I don't care if it's like only $200. Apply for this thing. Write the essay. I don't care. Money is money. I'm telling you right now. I, I've been... All these last few days, all I've been doing is like measuring my dollars to make sure I can pay for things and trying to see how much financial aid I have left over from tuition to see if I can cover some of these books. I mean, this is... It is expensive. Especially close to NAF when you get to that and you're... Uh, Second semester, if you're one of the, if you want to do a license job, uh, for Dexod, uh, Coastal Nav, it, it's ridiculous. It's like a what, hundred and forty dollars for this kit, and that comes with triangles and charts. And yeah, you will be using that your whole four years, but it's expensive. And that's not counting all the new charts you gotta buy, uh, all the extra equipment that doesn't come with that chart, uh, come with that case. A lot. It just, it's a lot of money and. FAFSA and scholarships are your way to go. The more you apply, the better, especially if you're in high school. Apply for as many as possible. Ask your guidance counselors about them. Uh, if you're an in-state kid, you're a lot, you fare a lot better. Tuition's definitely not as much expense. I think it's twenty-two thousand. If I remember correctly, I'm not exactly sure. But uh, anyway, uh, that's kind of my rant. 
about today. I don't know. I just going through a lot. Um, I got a new job, so I'm no longer in crew. I decided to get a job, and now I'm working for the library. I start my first day this Saturday. I'm super excited about that. And, uh, yeah, the, I'm just trying to pay for bills. So, uh, with, uh, oh, yeah, and plane rides. Don't even get me started on plane rides. Um, just alone, I probably spent at least $1,000 on plane rides. And that's just going home and back for the holidays. It is ridiculous. Uh, another thing is, see, term just because that three thousand, you think I'll get good? No, you're not. Good. You gotta pay for when you get off the ship. So that's an additional cost of who knows. So they told us to bring like seven hundred dollars or a thousand dollars on the sea term. I only brought two hundred. That's all I had left. That's all my family had left. Um, so yeah, uh, I know sea term was great. It was an amazing time, but yeah, I was pinching pennies. <laughs> it was. It was expensive, and God bless those uh, for kids who can afford that. I just, well, this, it's really hard. And uh, like I said, apply for scholarships. Like today, I'm applying for two scholarships. One is one I'm reapplying for, and one's a new one. Uh, one's for uh, my stepdad's work. He uh, apparently took $1,000. If I get it, I get it. That'd be pretty awesome. And just because, oh, here's another thing. Don't face rejection, alright? So, I don't even care the scholarship says, ah, oh, sorry, you don't have you this time. Uh, just keep applying for scholarships. Keep going, because it's a numbers game. If you apply for, like, 20 scholarships and, like, 5 accepted you, hey, that's 5 scholarships. Let's say each one's around $1,000. That's $5,000 you just got for just filling out some paperwork over and over again. And, uh, there's apps that you can download, and they, like, you go have all your information, so you can just input them into the machines, like, into the Scholarships, so you just input all your information really quickly and submit it. Bam! Essay? Rewrite the essay. It was an essay about you? Well, make one essay, then use copy that essay, print, like download it, then use that same essay for all the questions that refer to that essay. So let's say you have one scholarship, that same question as the last scholarship, you use the same essay. They're not going to know the difference. And it's still the same answer. It's it's not like you're being not lying to them, it's the truth, which is you're using the same essay as another scholarship. I've done that a couple times. It just saves you time and saves you money. Anyway, that's for my rant. I'm super excited for work. Semester's going very smoothly. I'm not as stressed out this semester, which is great. See, term was a blast. I already said that. Uh, you guys just saw the Boston video, so I hope you guys enjoyed. I was with family for a day. It was really nice. And uh, yeah, now I'm just getting my room ready for inspections. Applying for scholarships and uh, enjoying life. So you guys take care. Don't do anything stupid. Bye.